retroactively make this a mean VOD, you're scamming me out of one channel playing here. Anytime you justify not running the Yark Harvest cards, no. Like, why would you? Right? Like, what's the point? What are you getting out of not running, running that? <laughs> okay, I was joking. You don't, you know, take your points back. Um. Can you have all points? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> I don't really care about channel points. <laughs> all right, what's your comp? You have this is console, right? This looks like console. Is it console? It's gotta be console. Um. Yeah, mark your talus, mark your tire, like, cool, 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 you have DR, you do, awesome. Um, okay, so, you're missing, your one pointers are different, um, this is very nitpicky, but, like, I like ammo, because it always has an impact, and I think, like, the extra free ammo is less value, but it's better for, like, fighting flanks and stuff, because you're not gonna, like, um, heal during the middle of the fight most of the time, so. And then, the abyssal shift, like, it's, it's a good card, but, like, it's not good enough to make it value to use your knife for DR, so most of the time you're just TPing away uh, anyways. It's not bad, though. Like, it's up to you, honestly. If you like those cards, then go for it. Just, I recommend trying the other ones and making your own decision. Corver and DR lifesteal both on 5 always? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it just, it makes DPS, like, insanely good. Like, I, I don't know, maybe we'll spectate a Talus sometime, but... Like, yeah, it's it's just stupidly good. So, okay, by the way, their comp is, like, ridiculous. Um, so, oh, let's wait for Yag to stop. Um, on support, you kind of always need to assume that the other team will, will trade for you. Because they will. <laughs> if a Yag trades for you this game, or if Ruckus trades for you this game, if, if the Saris trades for you this game, honestly, like, it's, it's so good. Um... So you need to be playing in a way where like you respect that, because that Ruckus could have dashed on you, the Yag yeah, could have ended on top of you. Um, so playing, yeah, playing around like where you are right now would be pretty good. Okay. So cover, right? Where's your team? Your cover's on point. Oh, the rest of your team, your team jipped. Um, it's fine. I'll wait more for the rest of the VOD, but I want to take the VOD sign, some of the transparency. So you're not blocking player one. Oh, I. You can do that, right? I don't... Listen, man, I don't know Streamlabs things. It fits the scuffed aesthetic. <laughs> oh, that's a nice knife bug right there. That's that's top tier knife bug. Okay, so you know where both the tanks are. Is Grover bad on this map? Because he can't do much without taking a heck ton of damage during mids. Um, so, like, Grover... In, like, okay. Grover is good because he can fight DPS. Um, but on this map, he has... Like, you know, like, the reason you run that range card on Grover is so you don't have to choose between being in a good spot to heal and being in a good spot to do damage. Um... On Frozen, Grover has to choose being a, a, choose between being in a good spot to heal and being in a good spot to do damage. So it's definitely one of his worst maps because he can't really do a lot of damage. He has consistent damage, um, and the roots are still really good. But like, if I'm a DPS Grover, I'm playing like all the way over here um, on the slip on the wall. Um, but you can't do that. So <laughs> you can't do that if you want to keep your team alive. So I don't. He's not bad per se the root is still disgusting but there are generally better options i think see i think yeah um you kind of need to assume that they're that the yag is gonna like end on you with core vr card let's say you heal a tank about the mark and give him the dr does it also give it to both your mark allies yes it does and that's why it's good basically so like I'm gonna point out one thing, right? And that is that this right side is completely open, and if they were to flank right now, you would be the first person they see. So, um, I don't know if there's a better word word for this, but I call it frontlining frontlining aside. <laughs> um, but there's probably better ways to say that. So like, you don't want to be like over there. You want to be like here, maybe. 
So that way, if your team does flank, they can Talus in the way. If your team comes from the, if they come from the right, the Talus is there. If they come from the left, the Tyra is there. You're nicely sandwiched between your team. Here, wait, wait, do we get to, are we gonna see Talus lifesteal in DR? Look at the lifesteal! Oh my god, this Talus is living! Okay, so we just watched our Corvus teleport into Emoji. Uh, VOD note of the day, do not teleport into Emojis. <laughs> I think he tried to be aggressive with your Talus and that's good. But like, you teleported in front of him. <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, TP, uh, TP behind. You're there to support, you're not there to front line. You know? You're playing fine though, like, there's not much to Corvus, but, um, so it gets kind of nitpicky. Oh, you said meme VOD, right? I've got, no, I've got to, wait, I've got to say jokes now. Console emo mega wall. <laughs> You didn't really have to do much there, that was cool. <laughs> Thank you, team! Why does your Fernando have a mark? Okay, we're just gonna teleport into Yagra. Oh, okay, that's why you gotta assume they're all gonna dive on you. Cause like, if there's any, any sort of amount of follow-up on that, then you're dead. Um, so like, you 100% need to be playing back a lot farther. What are your two fill cards for Corv? Um, so, <laughs> internal cooldowns are bugged right now. Sometimes they proc when you respawn. Like, sometimes they just proc incorrectly, and then you can't use them for the... Like, they, they've proc'd. You can't use them until the internal cooldown is up. Um, I would use um, Magistrate's Might and... Um, I would use the card that gives you a shield when you're below 35% HP, and the one that resets your that lowers your knife cooldown when you heal. Um, but because Magistrate's Might is bugged, the shield card is bugged. I use uh, the free extra ammo, and the heal lowers your knife cooldown. It, it doesn't matter. Like it's personal preference, honestly. They, they they're so use what you're comfortable with. Have. Yeah, that's good. I used to not run it. I used to run HP. HP and ammo, but... It's like this, this is like an appropriate level of like scared. Why are you marking your Fernando? He's literally Fernando. You could not heal the Fernando all game. He'd probably still main tank diff though. Like you're not doing anything, right? But like not doing anything is the play here, which sucks. Oh my god, I, how are you out damaging people, honestly? That's the real question here. <laughs> Dare fight of the victor? Good. Okay, that, that's a good aggressive play there. If you had no in uh, internal cooldown, it would be absolutely busted. I mean, I don't know about busted, but it would be a lot better. Hey, you know, speaking of uh, things, speaking of stuff being busted, if you vote Fishnet for AOC, uh, I'll try to fix internal cooldowns. <laughs> or get internal cooldowns fixed. Good job feeding the Moji uh, shield. Yep, yep, yep. Good stuff, good stuff. I don't know why you teleported in. Okay, so. Let's talk about teleporting into the enemy team. Don't. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, fun fact. Um, oh, the Yag's on the other team. You can give uh, Yag DR in her alt. So even though it doesn't heal her, you can still give her the DR. If you vote for Walnut for AOC, you'll make combat pit meta happen. <laughs> oh, good. That would be... You'd have to do so much healing to get that down. God. You know, my buddy were talking about a rock change, make shock falls to a bounce heal, and then Ray came out. <laughs> oh, thanks, Drock. Drock, shock pulse healing is like. It's weird to me. 
Because, like, it feels like people are always trying to make um, Healer Grok, like, viable, and, like, that's great, but, like, from my point of view, Grok just has, like, no healing, right? Why don't you just increase his healing? Like, Spirit's Domain, right? Does 700. Bump it to 900. It's a super easy change. It's not gonna, like, break the game. Like, we don't need to, like, rework Shock Pulse, you know? We can just, like, change 7 to 9. And then just, like, see, see what happens, you know? That's nah, easy to nerf everyone else. Ah, true, true. Oh, you did the, the Frozen Jump. Nice. Uh, items. So, like, items are really good, dude, right? Uh, items are, are, like, pretty pretty strong. Um, so you should buy them. <laughs> uh, if, this, cause if this is Season 5, you're buying Veteran 2 and, like, maybe Wrecker? I don't know. At least by Haven this patch, though. Okay. So, you know how, like, that last VOD was, like, all talking about, like, being aggressive with your offline so you can, like, hit big alts? Um, you're Corvus. <laughs> so, you're Corvus. Um, the, okay, Corvus is really boring to play right now because if you want to play him, like, in, like, the best, most optimal way possible, um, you do nothing, <laughs> basically, because the value that you get from being aggressive, like, the extra damage and stuff, um, isn't worth the risk of you dying. Like, your marks, you existing and putting marks on the DPS with a good build is, is enough value as it is. Yeah, I know! That's why Corvus sucks right now! It's just, it's, it's just... Yeah. Like, th this is stupid! This is stupid! You know why? Because you're going to die, and then your marks are... Your, your pockets aren't going to have pockets anymore, and then your pockets lose. Like, this, this is a really... I, I mean, we can nitpick this play, right? We can nitpick a little bit. We could say, okay, you knifed really far in, you hesitated on your alt, and you're going to end your alt in an unsafe spot. Like, instead of ending it, like, back here, where you can heal... Or, I'm assuming you have the knife lower CD card. Um, you can heal someone, then knife back out. That would be a really good individual play. And, like, it's... It's weird, right? Because, like... It's technically, like, fine that you go for this, and it's good, and it looks really good, and, like, it's getting kills, but, like, it's so risky, dude. It's so risky. <laughs> you should not have to do that, but... But it's cool because I dove in. You did! You did! And, like, if you watch me, I'll do that, too, but that's because it's fun. <laughs> um, but if you generally want to win, like, don't do that. Um, like, going... Okay, sorry. I'm phrasing this wrong. Um... That was like a really good play. You should be looking to do those things. But like that was way too risky. Like if you were gonna go for that play, you go for it from like here. Um or you go for it from like here. You know? So yeah. Over Dom but Genos my favorite sports because you can do damage and heal. Genos doing damage Omega Wall. <laughs> yeah, here you here you Solar Blessing? I don't know, I miss Solar Blessing Fury, it's just been so long. What server is UQ ranked on? I'm in rank, tried queuing five days in a row and haven't gotten a single- What the heck? I'm on NA. I am North American servers. Warp feels bad in a straight fight, just dies easily. Yeah. He's squishy. Like that. Play EU. Yeah. APM skill for sports with Pip and Dom at the top of the Grover and with Corvus. I just want to force myself to not do stuff. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Okay, so like, we can talk about position again, and like how, like look at what killed like four people, right? So like, we could not be there. Wrecker's good, Wrecker's good, Haven's good. Unlucky. Okay, so rest of the VOD is probably just gonna be like point out like positioning things and then like how to safely go, f how to like super safely go for aggressive plays. Depending on on Vatu, he's good. I don't know, he's a character. <laughs> His ult's a bit cheesy, but. Get out of uh, lockouts if you make your AC as well, like Atlas Lockout. And also midair and accuracy. I, I like those things. Dude, Furia, Furia is one of my favorite sports to play just because she does not have like that many lockouts. Like, Furia has, like, a 50% reload cancel. Like, all of her abilities can kind of flow into each other. It's great. Give you a heal targeting? I mean, you're not wrong. That 
that's unlucky. I mean, yeah, okay, so that was like really risky, right? But I don't think it's a bad play. It just didn't work out. I don't know, I think Furia is like, you can get used to it. Plus, like, what, are you gonna stop playing Furia because the heal's a bit wonky? You don't play Furia for the heal, dude. you play her for the sword gun so you can ego DPS. <laughs> is doing damage to an ulting Yag build alt charge? No, it doesn't? I really? That's silly. <laughs> that's, that's a little silly. So right here, that, mm, I you had your team with you. Okay. I was gonna say Rockets could just double dash on you, but... Stop marking your McGuddles. Mark your Tyro. Like, this is You can follow your McCoy here, you're behind. I don't, you're not playing, whatever. This is fine, I wouldn't walk out fast here. Like, walking through through doorways on support it just opens you up to so many more angles, so you really gotta be careful about when you do it. But. So like a little tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Um, you are here, it would be like a lot safer if you're like up here. Cover, you know, good stuff. Nine, eight, seven, oh wow, there you go, wow. Imagine if you were like using cover and on the high ground and stuff. Um, and you were also front lane aside there, so. Nimble, Nimble's fine, okay. Fairy has the best all, good damage. Burst heals, drift heals, better late game of high caught. 100%, yeah. She's just really well designed. Don below key isn't worth playing for most support players. I only play him because I'm too far gone. Bro, like, he's one of like the most fun characters in the game, dude. I don't know, I think he's worth it. Since he's spray spamming Vaz, Moji now are spamming the Halloween spray this entire time. I don't. Maybe I, don't, I was honestly was not paying attention. But <laughs> great for in sports, but not great for ranked. Okay, okay. I kind of disagree with that though. I kind of disagree with that. Um, I feel my voice going. Um, so like, let's just wait for your agonizes to end. Um, hey, teleport into the team gun. Um, so like. You know that thing where, like, if you play, like, Ceres, right, it's like, you're playing the easy character, yeah? So, but, like, the reason that you don't want to, like, just keep playing Ceres is because, like, it won't get you, like, super high, but I feel like... You can apply the exact same logic to Dombo, where, like, if you do want to get high, like, play the character. The character's really good and can carry, like, almost every game. <laughs> so, I don't really... I don't get it. Yeah, he's he's hard. He's harder than most supports. Um, but if you do genuinely, like, want to get good, like, play Dombo. Okay, but also, yeah, controller, I don't... Yeah, controller Dombo, I don't know. Yeah. Fed and I threw until I stopped feeding and throwing. Hey, that's... That's pretty much how you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that knife was ballsy, partly because I don't think you knew what was um, with your knife. Oh, that's unlucky. You had your ult. Okay, honestly, I think um, you need to make sure that when you're like knifing, um, make sure that you're knifing into a spot that you know is safe, and um, make sure that like, you actually like know what's there and you're not like in front of people. Grover is broken and strong, Domba is super fun and strong. Walt is 50% DR? I don't know. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you live Victor Walt, don't you? At the very least, oh, wrong button. I feel like you do. I feel like you at the very least go, ooh. 60? Math. Uh, that's like 500 per shell, so yeah, you would. Big. So this, this is too far up. Um, you can get dove here. Look at where your tire is. Espe you especially generally want to play with DPS, right? So. Uh, that wasn't necessary. She was dead. Yep, there you go. That's how you get You notice how like, you're getting punished like on chorus for being like slightly aggressive? Wow, that sucks. That's awful. Um, <laughs> you should do the unfun thing instead. <laughs> Oh god, dude. Certain things that cause core 
I have to bug out, or is it random? Ah! Okay, you're gonna get me talking about Cormac. Wait for Yag noises. Okay. Um, so there, there, are, there are two things that um, bug Corv knife out. The first is that when you throw knife as Corvus, your knife projectile doesn't start here. It starts like back here. So sometimes if your back is against a wall and you're like here, you'll throw knife and your knife will start here, hit the wall, be like, oh, I hit this wall. And then it'll teleport you there. So you can teleport behind a wall. Um, the other thing that's buggy about Corvus knife is that um, the hitbox of the knife is smaller than the hitbox for the visuals of the knife. Or, sorry, is bigger. No, the, the actual hitbox, the collision hitbox of the knife is bigger than the visuals hitbox of the knife. If that makes sense. That, that doesn't make sense. But, like, basically, right, um, you can get into a scenario where, like, your knife has two hitboxes. Um, if you throw it, sometimes what will happen is that your, your knife hitbox, the actual collision, will, like, hit here. But then the visual hitbox is smaller. So the visual effects will, like, keep going. Um, and that will mean, like, you see your knife over there, and then you teleport, and then you teleport to, like, right here. All right? So, yeah, that's kind of the core of issues. But, yeah. You still have to do fun. There'll be a time when doing stuff will be feel blind and it's good practice. That is also true, though. That is actually true. Especially if I get AOC, dude, I'm going to go on a... I'm going to go on a Corvus ramp. Trust. I love being aggressive with this character. It's so much fun. I wish it was, like, worth it. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, like, you can do stuff with Corvus, and ranked is... Ranked can be different than, like... The other scenario, like I, I'm not saying don't do it, right? I'm saying like it's it's theoretically the better play, right? But like, it involves that you trust your teammate, and it's also boring as heck. <laughs> so, you know, we eh. have character as hit scan does much as serious considered trash on control rank because she doesn't heal enough. Wait, do you mean Damba? I, I just trust. All I know is this W key, bro. If you trust your rank DPS, something's there's, there's something wrong with that picture. Seven Korg and Koga have the same gun. <laughs> I mean, Koga's gun is literally like looks the same. It's like this sort of aggression, this level of doing stuff. This is good because that was like a hundred percent safe. But yeah, this level of aggression is fine. Yeah, you know, the marks okay. Uh, I mean, they're on your DPS, right? <laughs> they're on your DPS. Hey, you're walking for a bit. Careful, <laughs> careful. Generally, um, you want to be like over here. Does this cover? Even maybe pushing up to here, maybe going below here. N not in mid though. Oh wow, looks like you're okay. That was actually a really good knife, but your team still dies. Unlucky. Is that a pay to lose spray? Under the bridge in the right tunnel is that fine? Yes, that is fine. Um, so the thing about. <laughs> The thing about Frozen, it might have just, like, the spray might not be appearing because um, it was sped up, but the thing about Frozen, right, is that, like, this, let's wait for you, I can go away. This entire part of the map, like, sucks, dude. Like, there's no shot that you're, like, gonna be safe, right? Um, so, like, you use cover as best you can, and then just talking about, like, how Frozen Last Choke works, right? Um, you can't, like, th this is just the stupidest map, because they have three spawn doors, and they literally have this Thunderdome set up around you, right? They have every high ground. Um, so generally, the way that you break it is you have to get into the Thunderdome. Um, you can't just like take a slow fight poking out here because you're gonna lose that. They have every good advantage. Um, so unless you have like some other plan like with alts or whatever, um, you generally want to like get inside, and you get inside through this tunnel. So if it's a, if your team is trying to get inside through this tunnel, then your support is inside the tunnel, supporting the people who are trying to get through the tunnel and break the thunder dome. So yeah, play tunnel as Corv and mark mid. Uh, I mean you could. Why do you care about marking mid though? I feel like that mentality is wrong. Like, yes, that would let you heal more people. Do you care about healing more people? No, you care about breaking the choke. And how do you break the choke? You break the choke by getting your DPS into the Thunderdome. So, 
Like who cares? But what's, what's your Fernando gonna do? <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna walk in. He's gonna put up shield. Be like, yeah, look at me. Like he doesn't care if he has 10% DR and 15% life steal. But you know, you know, it's life steal card on max. How much life can you buy before diminishing returns? I do not know, but I know that there's a calculator out there somewhere. Actually, I can link the calculator real quick. Um, where is the calculator? There we go. Diminishing returns calculator. Go find out. Yeah. Yeah, vertical mobility is also cool. But then, like, again, they also just have, like, the Thunderdome. They can create distance. They can... It's hard. You're banned from the official Discord? Oh, no. Okay, if you were going for that knowing that you had your ult, then that's... Sure, that's aggressive, but it's fine. It's fine. Again, playing right side is probably better, but... It's so like, what this Yag doing? Knowing that, like, the enemy team has the Thunderdome up there, right? What this Yag is doing is pretty bad, because she's fighting outside of her Thunderdome. <laughs> There's no way you said that. <laughs> well, you should be dead. Eight, Who seven, would it? Bro! Six, oh my god, okay. Five, four, three, <laughs> this is what happens when I don't have bots. This is a good position. You're safe here. You're relatively safe here. You see how the Victor could just, like, peek out? Or if ulting high ground, you'd honestly die to the victor. Um, also, it's too free, so I wouldn't ult. But like, if you wanted to, yeah, you could. Um, but usually, like, what happens is like, you ult here, and then they go okay, and then like they play like over here, and like over here, and it's fine. So and, and you can. It's an option you have, but it's not great. Like, you see what the emoji did? <laughs> the emoji was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sneak into their back. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. Um, but you know, you can if you want. That's why you play in the tunnel. That is literally right there. That what just happened. That's why you play in the tunnel. So they can't do that. Th there's like some some tiny tiny position mistakes that you're doing. Tiny position. Well, not really tiny. Like more like massive mistakes that are getting you killed. Lose your team to fight. But um, yeah, you can fix this. Play can chill. On. Oh, do you mean like? Anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, like you play like on this like roof, on like the the roof because you, you can stand on this, right? Yeah, you can stand on this. Just like chill up here. <laughs> you could. Okay. Five, four, three, I assume your DPS have marks. So yeah, you should be farther back. Because they're just on top of you. Like if this Yag ults you, she doesn't have ult on the mark. Okay, you're but... Yeah, if you're farther back, you're not under this much pressure. Because like, they're going to go- look at their tanks line. Look at their tank line. They're going to dive you. So what you want- you want them to dive your Tyra. So that you can be behind- your Tyra is going to be shooting things no matter what. But you can't heal yourself. You can heal your Tyra. And you can also shoot things if you're not under pressure. So you want your Tyra to act almost like on your bait. Play behind your Tyra. So, like, distance, then. It's just distance and cover. So, like, you could play- you could literally start back here. Literally start back here. You can knife over there, you can knife into the room over there. Like, you'll be fine. You could start here. You can knife backwards if they really commit on you, so... Any dismounts? No. Um, the only one you could really do is, like, here through mid. I would not dismount on support and dive, though. Like, I, you can situationally, but, like, I'd say it's better to like keep your mount so that like if they are dismounted then you can get away. It's a free knife. Free knife away, right? It's it's free positioning if you keep your mount. Like if you if you start mid fight like right here, free peeking, they don't know where you are, you know where they are and you can position however you want. But yeah, if, it's like a slower comp you can dismount mid. And, like Corvus in this comp, down to three or long MLS is so nice here. I think it's fine just because you have console DPS. But 
like on ironically comps well. For this picket, it, yeah, it's, yeah. Don't peek that, oh my gosh. Ko has all, you know, I go worry about it. I would not walk forward when you heard Zero's off, but okay, you're just gonna win this. Okay. Whenever you were, okay, you didn't emote. That's kind of throwing. Um, so like, when you go for aggressive plays on this character, they need to be super safe. So, TPing into areas that you do not know are safe is not very good. TPing in front of people is not very good. Um, so you, you want to TP into areas where you know what, what's there and where you're behind your team. Um, and then, yeah, playing life better, playing farther back, knowing that they're going to dive you. Um, playing with DPS, the whole positioning stick, right? Um, honestly, I didn't see your ults much. Honestly, I just try to like use them more lol. <laughs> I don't think you really had like that many impactful ults. So.